guard for Connecticut, listed at 6'2", a senior from Augusta, Georgia, wearing number 21, Ricky Moore. Again, the pressure and a steal. Bosco's got it and a good look ahead to Ricky Moore. It's 6'2", Huskies. And you really have to be careful with your passes, Caesar. That's a different story. A Connecticut pace, but a Richmond lead. Moore into the paint to drop it in, and it's 12 to 10. Nice out shooting by both teams. Now a minute 10 to play in the half, and Richmond still in that zone. Base locker Ricky Moore elevates and hits to make the lead 10. For much of the half, Utah though has taken over. Hamilton finds an open Ricky Moore. Another three-pointer. Nice ball move, and Richard Hamilton could have taken a shot. He's hot. And Elamine. Hamilton off the screen. They run so many looks for Richard Hamilton. Here's Moore feeling it offensively tonight. <laughs> and he had over here's Harrison, and he's got friends. Moore again for two more. You can see how quickly. Oh, a nice ball fake by Moore to get two. Now you find in condition for the December schedule. Which will be upon the Huskies very quickly. Nice shot. Ricky Moore on the glass. He gave it that nice bat. That is coming up empty there. Nice back, door. nice back door cut to Moore. If Ricky can find the handle, he did and got the bucket. Enough way of convert right in traffic. For Johnson. For Johnson. That's Mr. Johnson. They told me that he's really stepped up his game this year. Ricky Moore, nice drive. There's the quickness of Ricky Moore. Washington could certainly use some of their free throws back, and they'd still be in this thing, and they are not right now. They didn't hit him the last trip down. Ricky Moore got the roll. You know, Ricky Moore hasn't scored a lot of points, Brad, but he settled them down. He was partially blocked, tipped up. Cosby has it. Shot clock is at seven stolen and here comes Moore lays it in Ricky Moore one of the best defensive guards you will find not the shot is short by Hawkins here is Elamine to Moore pulls up for three Moore got it John I talked to Ralph Willard yesterday during their workout I said what do you have to do to Connecticut it's like a one three one matchup here's Moore he's got a three going and good so Moore with his second three-pointer he's got eight and we're back to that well, he went right by Bosco. Like he was nailed to the floor. Here we go. Moore answers at the other end. On the fly, it's Ricky Moore with nine points. Inside, the backboards will be key in this game. Bosco with a height advantage. Ricky Moore, wide open three. Got it. So UConn jumps in front. It's kind of a game to come out of the blocks quickly. Commodore, fine job that time from downtown, the senior. Moore drives, penetrates, and dishes off to Kevin Freeman. So the Huskies by a pair, a little over a minute gone by. Hamilton with the steal. Leaves for Moore. So there is the first turnover for the Stags. And Tim O'Toole is furious, and he calls a 20-second timeout. As you mentioned, Ron, the Stags averaging 24 turnovers a game. And built a big lead in this game. They just want to continue to execute. Run those plays. Four for three. They're answering. So Ricky Moore before tonight. Another guy doesn't force anything. Very unselfish floor leader. Another steal for the Huskies. Steal by Jones. Three on three. Saunders! Beautifully executed. There's Ricky Moore again. Three-pointer comes up a little bit short. And again, it's Freeman hustling. He's got Alamine. Moore wants the alley-oop. He's got it. And jams it. You can see him at half court. Lining it up with a big finger in the air. Pointing at the basket. These guys are playing on the rope. They have an understanding of what one another are going to do on the floor. And they are really putting out, as I touched on before, you do not, if you're Villanova, want to get down 6-0, 8-0, 10-2, and all of a sudden, here comes the alley-oop. Celestan bites for the fake, and it's over. But that really was created at half court. They ran the floor very, very well. And it's one thing, it's an interesting thing with young kids, especially if you've been handling. That's There's the problem. turnover, that's the third. Hamilton gives it up on the wing to Alamine, misses the shot, but more to the rescue. Pure crowd and scores. It's working effectively, John, because when Connecticut is allowed, forcing Villanova to take it away, it's a problem. Alamine with more trailing to Freeman, to Moore, off the glass and go. They're putting on a clinic right now. Well, they sure are. And there's one little secret about good teams. They always pass the basketball well. They're very unselfish. Often Freeman has the rebound, looks to Alamine. They've got numbers in front. Moore. 
Up the glass and good. He just scooted by the defender. Turns into points if you can finish, and they've been able to do it. Hamilton, right at the foul line, sneaks it inside, then back to Moore for a three, and he buries that one. And Mike Kitts and Tom Lopes are our officials. Georgetown starts out man-to-man. -man. Absolutely, Georgetown is going to do a couple of man-to-man -man end zone things. Ricky Moore goes back door, gets the hoop and the foul. He has all the skills to make the leap to the next level. Hamilton with a steal. Ahead of the pack is Moore. Cotton will try to chase him down and can't. Moore gets on the board. The lead grows. All the numbers good so far for the Huskies. Moore with a three. And there's another one. Well, that was a clinic on how to attack. Pulls up as Scott cut him off. Goes back to Elamine. Moore steps around. Barry glides in with the left hand. And he'll go to the line. Moss is going to pick up his second foul early on here. There's a steal. At the other end, it's Moore. Lays it home. The route continues for Connecticut. Oliver had it, lost it. Mooring kicks it ahead to Jones with Moore. Back to Jones. Score. Fundamental basketball, and Jimmy Calhoun's the first guy off the bench. The conversion. Roska. Into the paint again. Now 10 seconds as Moore launches a three and buries it. Vasco will hold his ground. Soft touch won't go down. Hamilton with the rebound. Shooting the ball too quickly. Got a layup right here. Ricky Moore. Can't beat him a clutch. Can't beat him in a running game, John. In right, a new arena. Buckeyes playing well. Here's Hamilton. Oh, Ricky Moore. Weak side rebound. Hamilton. One has played up to that. The other, scoreless, on the best. Ricky Moore's layup makes it 60 to 45. To like this whole November, December schedule. You know, he's grown up in this program, Craig Astor did, so he knows all about it. Ricky Moore launches a three, answers back. The fake still couldn't get rid of him. Georgetown playing excellent defense in this first half. Shot clock is down to eight. Ricky Moore launches a three. More than defense out of that guy. They did it in an NCAA game against Texas Tech in the first round back in 1993. Moore got the bounce on the runner. Right. And he puts UConn up 11-4 in the early going. Knocked away again. The pressure doing the job. There's Moore's defense. Dick, your timing was beautiful. He gave you a... Kenny Harley at 6-5. Not afraid to go inside with that nice lefty finish. But I like it. The left hand. Moore gets it back. Moore scores. And he was fouled. Oh, there yeah. is the hustle of Ricky Moore. Goes in, hook shot won't go. Wasn't close. He thought he had a foul ahead of the pack. Moore, Moore laid up behind his back in the reverse. Well done. No hurry. Right. Moore, Connecticut. Work it. Take some time off. Come here. Ricky Moore with a rim shot. And he hits it. It's a three ball. And that pretty much you turn out the lights right there. Hit bombs away, knocking down the three to give underdog Seton Hall a seven to two lead. Look down, good pass, real good pass by Vasco, and then going reverse, Ricky Moore. That was D down. The zone forcing Connecticut to slow down a bit. Good stay away just then by Freeman. I thought he was going to go up for a tip. But that was a big one. It ties the game at 44. Here's another steal. Moore to the basket. And UConn comes from behind. See, I often wonder when I see a player go down with the basketball like that, how does he fall? Hamilton looks for Freeman. Freeman with a big first half. Here's the cut in the lane. Good defense with the ditch. You got to keep moving with this guy. We are tied at 55. Nice job by Vasco to recognize the defense. Moore double clutched and still knocked it down. So number four, UConn takes a two-point lead. Connecticut by one of the breaks. Sheaton Hall by three now. Under four minutes to play. Moore left alone at the free throw line. Drops it in. And there's a pick in the roll. Turned away by Thomas. Not a change or a deflection or a block, but a mental change. Ricky Moore left open for a triple. A good manager. Congratulations to Calhoun. Outside, a three goes for Ricky Moore. Set up by Ami. And once again, attacking the hot spot. That time, Suleiman Juan on the baseline. They've got the control of this tempo back to where they're more comfortable. Playing good defense on the end. 
at least up until then. One to Ricky Morris. More St. John's half court struggles. That's seven turnovers. Ricky a three. Shot it well last night. Picks up tonight. A lot of young teams come out. 16 right now. Selections, they have problems getting the ball to go down. On the driving layup for Ricky Moore, thought about it. Now look at the baseline. Hamilton will run the baseline. Ricky Moore buries it for three. He's not a guy who's going to really hurt you at the offensive. Jump shot, well short. Rebound taken by Moore. Pull-up jumper for Ricky Moore. That's a friendly rip. It sure is. Jones makes his move on a kick out. Moore, wide open look. Ricky Moore drills it for three. Team points for Hamilton. Off of the missed jump shot. Moore, no look feed for Hamilton. Ricky Moore, great look. And yeah, they keep the pressure on. I demand everybody else is playing zone. Skip pass, Ricky Moore for three. Got it. One of the problems playing a box and one is it's going to leave somebody else open, and Connecticut has. Some very potent offensive weapons. Pass. Rochbell Jones in the game. Ricky Moore. One dribble. Got it again. Both these teams shooting the ball well. Eaton hedging out. Four to shoot. Ricky Moore steps back and got it. Knocked it down with confidence to tie it up at four. Father plays in a fan. Here's Moore. Ricky Moore can play inside. Great penetration against the 1-2-2 two, two, or 3-2 zone look. Gonzaga trying to match up. You see all the room that Moore has as he penetrates down into the middle and draws the foul. And Bosco has really come up big on the board. Ricky Moore, stop and start. The zone defense for Gonzaga has been able to get out and stop Richard Hamilton, but the dribble penetration has really been a problem. The basket and the foul, and you can just feel the Connecticut bench think that they're finally starting to take over this game. To keep Bosco rested, Bosco can go in without foul trouble. Johnson's got to wear down some. Ricky Moore, the senior, swish. Here's the old matchup, Moore and Avery. Moore gets past him, and he'll take it in for two. The senior teaches the sophomore. And in the fourth quarter, they're going to be in the second half to the preferred end. Now Ricky Moore steps in. Second time he's taken it inside, both times he's delivered. They're going to isolate Moore on a guy like Battier. Get it back, Moore with a good fake. Take the jump roll, and he's scoring tonight. Six points for Ricky Moore. Got Moore feeling it tonight. Not this time. Tipped out. Hamilton again. Loose ball to the Huskies. Moore three-pointer. He's got the feeling, folks, in the championship game. It took him 12 and a half minutes. Ricky Moore quickly fades away, and Ricky hey. Moore continues to sizzle. Bosco ought to find himself somebody a guard. Good luck at Moore go to the hole. Lost the handle. Oh, this is incredible. More and more. It's looking like UConn can stay with the Blue Devils till the very end. Wow, Trajan Langan with the ball, and he's going up against a great defender. What's he doing here? Nine seconds to go. The whole season on the line, and Langan and is on the wall. Traveling on Langdon with and five seconds remaining. The foot movement of Ricky Moore. I'm really surprised that they tried to challenge the number one defender in the NCAA tournament so far. It was the footwork of Ricky Moore who stayed right in front of Trajan Langdon. A timeout, too. 75-74, UConn.